So I'm back in Mexico City now, as you can probably hear. <laughs> um, but I wanted to make a quick video uh, answering a question that a few of you have asked since I started my Sayulita series. And that is what the COVID situation there is like, what the protocols that are being taken are. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd walk you through that in this video today. So as soon as I arrived in Sayulita, um, myself and all of the other bloggers that I did this trip with, we all took a COVID test, a rapid COVID test. Um, the Punta Mita Hospital came to our Airbnb and gave us all a blood test to test for antibodies and present antibodies, I guess, active antibodies, that's the word. Um, and we all tested negative. So that's how we started the trip to make sure that we would be all be happy traveling together um, and also that we weren't bringing the virus into Nayarit. So this is like a super rapid test, I guess. We're gonna find out the results in 15 minutes. We're gonna get our fingers pricked. And I don't know what's gonna happen, but Hola, just waiting my turn. Was done with the sitting room and then he looks at the first time that he does it? Yes. Oh, um, I, I was. Have you presented any kind of symptoms? Have you presented any kind of symptoms? No. Okay. A piquetazo, eh? Gonna bring my phone. Piquetazo, eh? Was it here? Apretamos aquí. So for those of you that don't know, Sayulita is in the state of Nayarit. Um, Nayarit has had some of the lowest cases in the whole country. At this stage, I believe they have just over 6,000 cases since March, um, and that makes them one of the lowest in the whole country, along with Colima. And so yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a relatively low risk place to travel, but of course you also have to consider the fact that you don't want to bring the virus uh, to Nayarit when it has such low number of cases. Nayarit has been super strict since the start of the lockdown. Um, they closed the border with Jalisco so that you couldn't cross border from Puerto Vallarta. And um, yeah, it went on like that until summer, I believe, until June or July. Uh, but now everything is back open. Uh, the border between Nayarit and Jalisco are back open so that you can cross drive fly however you'd like uh, to get into the state. Besides the state border, pretty much everything in my experience in Sayulita, as well as when I was in Bucerias and when we did a day trip to San Pancho, everything is back open. That is usually open during the low season in these places. All the restaurants, all the bars, the beaches, um, all the hiking trails that we went on, hotels and Airbnbs, of course, are all back to a, at a certain capacity. Um, but <laughs> to be totally honest, the bars and restaurants seem to be at a perfectly normal capacity. Um, it also seemed that masks are not completely mandatory in public spaces like walking outside uh, or at the beach, obviously, like in most places at the moment. Um, however, it's being set really by the, the business. So OXO, of course, like everywhere in Mexico, you can't go in without a mask. But there were a few sort of smaller supermarkets uh, in Sayulita that did ask that people wore masks. Uh, whether or not that's being enforced is another thing. However, when we went to restaurants and bars, pretty much all the staff are wearing masks. All of the staff are wearing um, goggles in some places or like a, a sort of face shield that covers their mouth and their nose. Um, so yeah, the, the protocols are being ticked where necessary um, and you can still go into all of these places. But we tried to take precautions where we could as visitors um, Obviously, we all tested negative, but we still didn't want to get the virus. So we made sure we went to restaurants and, and bars and stuff that we sat outside when we could. Um, and if a place was crowded, we either didn't go in or we made sure to sit sort of outside, well, outside if possible. And if not outside, then there's a part of restaurants pretty much ever in Sayulita that is pretty much outside. Um, everything is totally open fronted. There's lots of cross breeze and, and air movement going on in the whole town <laughs> in all of the bars and restaurants. There's basically no front door. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, you are getting a lot of air movement across across places when you're when you're sitting inside. 
We visited during the first week of October, um, which is still technically the low season. It doesn't start until the first week of November, does the high season. Um, but it was very quiet, uh, and we were told much quieter than normal. During the week, Monday to Friday, it was like we had the whole place to ourselves, um, just with the locals who were mostly working, <laughs> but some people at the beach. And then on the weekends, it definitely sort of doubled, um, with a lot more domestic tourists coming in from, from Guadalajara and, and probably other parts of Nayarit. Um, but it was still not that busy. Uh, we still felt, felt like it was easy enough to socially distance where, where we needed to. And uh, yeah, it, it didn't feel totally overcrowded. My honest opinion is if you're not comfortable traveling at the moment, absolutely do not. I'm not promoting travel. I'm not advocating travel, um, especially to places where there is only one COVID hospital in the entire state. Um, but a lot of you ask these questions and I wanted to be completely honest with you about what it's looking like there. Um, if you're concerned about being in a place where people aren't wearing masks or perhaps not socially distancing, um, then this probably isn't the place for you right now. Uh, so yeah, if you have any other questions about what I experienced while I was there in regards to COVID or anything in general, let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye.